Three people are behind bars tonight after a high speed police chase this morning that also happened on the interstate. The group initially took off from Harrison County with the pursuit coming to an end with a rollover on a busy Interstate 20. That's near the Smith County and Van Zandt County line. Fox 51's Rachel Davis was at the scene where the chaotic chase ended and explains how it all got started in the first place. Authorities say the pursuit began in Harrison County just before 9 o'clock Monday morning. Uh, it was involving a stolen vehicle out of Mississippi. The chase traveled through Gregg County into the town of Lindale, where police say shots were fired. There was an exchange of gunfire between uh, the suspect vehicle and the Constable 5 Precinct. Uh, Precinct 5 Constable's Office. Sheriff Larry Smith explaining the gunfire happened during the pursuit. As shots were fired from inside the vehicle through the back glass, uh, shortly after that is when uh, Deputy Constable return fire. Leaving one suspect with a gunshot wound to the leg. Uh, he was injured. Unknown if that was due to the officer or self-inflicted because there was uh, guns that were uh, found inside the, the truck. The police say it continued on to I-20. About where we are here at about the 545 mile marker, uh, where the suspect uh, crashed out, rolled a vehicle into a, uh, a telephone pole over here. The crash knocking power out for some homes in the area, according to the Wood County Electric Co-op. Rachel Davis, Fox 51 News.